Item Number SCP-031-J Object Class Euclid Special Containment Procedures On October, agents are to be given an assorted amount of candy and placed strategically in each city. When approached, agents are to distribute the candy so as to avoid hostilities. Agents are urged to not distribute items pertaining to dental hygiene. Description: SCP-031-J is an event that occurs annually. Analysis of trends have pinpointed the event to fall in October, however, minor fluctuations are suspected. The trend of appearance of the event mainly occurs in North America and Western Europe, however, rogue instances of SCP-031-J may manifest in various cities worldwide. At the time of an SCP-031-J event, several instances of SCP-031-J-1 will manifest on various city streets. Appearances of instances of SCP-031-J-1 vary wildly, however, they have been described as mainly grotesque. Some instances appear to imitate historical figures or pop culture icons. Typically, instances will be much shorter than an average adult, with an average height of under 1.4 meters. Instances of SCP-031-J-1 will approach households in an ordered fashion and exclaim or The exact meaning of this phrase is unknown, however, researchers have suggested that this may indicate that the instances will damage the household or owners unless they are given some form of appeasement. This is verified by the giving of candy to instances of SCP-031-J-1, which appears to appease them until the next household. Shorter instances of SCP-031-J-1 show a tendency to place various adult humans in a trance state. Subjects act with a spirit of benevolence towards instances, and will fiercely defend instances in case of attack. Footnote 1 This has made retrieval of instances of SCP-031-J-1 difficult. SCP-031-J also has several other effects. Adolescents, especially males, show a marked tendency to vandalize households through creative uses of toilet paper. Pumpkins displaying faces of varying delight and malevolence appear on the doorsteps of households. The transformation of various households into what researchers have described as terrifying. Normal households may gain cobwebs, graves, whisk brooms, and animated humanoid corpses along their exterior. Footnote 2 Corpses do not appear capable of full locomotion. Larger instances of SCP-031-J-1 showing signs of inebriation. Addendum 031-J-1 Interview Log 031-J-1 Interviewer Dr. Interviewed Instance of SCP-031-J-1 Background This instance of SCP-031-J-1 was quickly intercepted by Dr. during an SCP-031-J event. The instance was quickly interviewed before hostilities emerged. Hello? Hello? What? What are you? I'm a ghost. You're a departed spirit? No, I'm a ghost. Ooga booga booga. Aside to researchers, note possible hostility to SCP-031-J-1. I mean, are you dead? D -d dead Yes, were you formerly a dead person? No, I'm just… Begins emitting high-pitched wailing noise. Shit, it's hostile. Run! End log. Smaller instances appear to be more aggressive, Dr. Interview Log 031-J-2 Interviewer Dr. Interviewed Larger Instance SCP-031-J-1 Background This instance was approached following its liberal use of toilet paper on a vehicle. Begin Log Why have you decorated that vehicle in such an odd way? Who the fuck are you? Does it appease your god? What? No. You aren't going to call the cops, are you? Consulting with research team. No, we will not. Now what are you? I'm Hugh Hefner. What does it look like? My research team has just checked. Hugh Hefner is currently in his mansion in… Are you retarded or something? Look, I got the pipe and the rope. My god! End log. Possible case of bilocation. Further research is required. Doctor.